All right, folks, it is Christmas, and now it's time to see what I got under the tree. Oh, my God. I can't believe what I'm seeing here. And on my lap. This is what I found under the tree. I can't believe my eyes. I can't believe it. My eyes are not deceiving me. Oh, it is the Nintendo Switch. I'm going to do gameplay reviews for games for this console in 2022. That is right, folks. The surprise is the Nintendo Switch. And of course, I got this for Christmas. And that's the reason why I showed this at the end of the video where I showed the number one pick for the best game I reviewed for Game Plan Review for 2021. I actually showed this at the very end. And that is because I am going to do gameplay and reviews for this system in 2022. This year, folks. That is right. This year, folks. I'm also going to be celebrating the 5th anniversary of the Nintendo Switch. And it will probably be this month. Before I get to it, however, I got to do the unboxing to this system and like I said there's going to be game plan reviews for games that I picked up that I'm not going to show just yet I will show them when I do the game plan reviews for those particular games but for right now it's time for the unboxing of the Nintendo Switch and I hope you all enjoy Okay, so now this is the Nintendo Switch. Now you know that I got it, of course. And I decided to show this with better lighting. I actually filmed this a couple of times, but never actually installed it. Of course, you can see what it includes. And they are in different languages, so be a lot easier for you to read depending on which language you're from of course it says made in China right there of course I I'm not sure but let, I'm gonna look at this closely and of course it says important information it says 32 gigabyte console internet may be required Micro SD card sold separately. Of course, you can expand to two terabytes of memory if you like. But those particular cards are expensive. It just depends on what you can afford. Of course, they are in different languages. And of course, you got the list of what's included inside. You got the Switch console. You got Joy-Con Neon Blue, Neon Red, Joy-Con Straps, High Speed HDMI Cable, Nintendo Switch Dock, Joy-Con Grip, and Nintendo Switch AC Adapter. Which, of course, the port is a USB-C. Of course, there's a picture of the contents inside and the back. As you can see right there, of course I bought the one with the uh, blue and red Joy-Cons because I like them. There's also one where you can get the uh, gray Joy-Cons 
that's if you want to. You can buy the great Joy-Con separately, so it really makes no difference. Now, unfortunately, with this box, something happened to it. Now, of course, it's fine on this side. There's no problem with this side whatsoever. There is no problem. It's on this side, unfortunately. And that's because I... Well, the thing about it is I set it on something when I was doing uh, something one day and it dropped. And that's the reason why for that. Despite that, the box is in pretty good shape. So, despite that happening, the box is in pretty good shape. And of course it says, Nintendo Switch Online, get access to online play, and over 100 classic NES and Super Nintendo games. Left flat to purchase. Auto renews, terms apply. I might eventually get that in the near future, I just haven't decided yet. So now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open this for you guys, so that way you get to see what's inside. Okay, open this up. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to open the box and we're going to see what's inside. Of course, if you can read that, it says, one, plug it in. And it depends on your AC adapter. I know that the Europeans have this type of AC adapter, as you can see right there. AC adapter and power outlet configurations may very outside US and of course set it up and it tells you how to set it up put the joy cons in the Nintendo switch when attached to the Nintendo switch console the joy con controller batteries will also charge and of course it also reads it in Spanish and French to remove press and hold the button on the top back while sliding the Joy-Con controller up and of course it says set the Nintendo Switch console into sleep mode or wake it up by pressing the power button and now of course it says need help right over there all right so you got the Joy-Cons you got Nintendo Switch right there and of course you got you got the uh, HDMI cord, and you got the AC adapter right there. You got your uh, uh, health and safety instructions and usage guidelines book. And it tells you about system update. And this tells you about uh, epileptic seizures and whatever not, and tell you about motion injuries and whatever not. Tell you to uh, take a break after a while. That's all that it is. Now, of course, you got your Joy-Con grip. You got your straps right over here on both sides. You got the dock, and that is all that you get in the box. So now we're going to show you the Joy Cons first. We're going to take one of these out. Of course, you got the neon blue right there and the neon red. There are different colors, too, that you can buy in your local store or online. And of course, we're going to take these out for a minute. And as you can see, you got, of course, the uh, analog stick. As you can see right there, if it even focuses... To apologize you got your analog stick right there you got your buttons you got your uh, you got your uh, screenshot button just in case you need it of course you got your uh, minus button right there you got your SNL and SNR buttons you got your uh, you by the way you hold on to this and it tells you uh, which uh, controller it is be for which player. Player 1, player 2, player 3, and player 4. It just depends on the lighting. Of course that's the back that you press and you got your L and ZL buttons on the back. As you right there, 
And of course, finally, we got, and I'll show you this. This is the uh, right controller. You got your plus button. You got X and Y, A and B. You got your uh, another analog stick. You got your home button. I can't think of what that is. You got your S and L, S and R button. And you, of course, you got R and ZR buttons, which is pretty cool. And finally, we got the switch itself, and we're going to take that out. And this is pretty cool, so here we go. We're going to take that out really quickly. And that's what it looks like, which is pretty cool. Of course, you got the uh, game card right there. As you can see, that's game card. Which is pretty cool. You got your headphone jack or headphone uh, connector, I should say. That is for the fan. It's like a great. Then you got your uh, volume and your power button. And then, of course, you have the USB C connector right there. If it can zoom right in as you can see right there of course it's a nice looking tablet as you can see and now of course we turn it around if I can turn it around and that's what the back looks like you got your grates for your fan or whatever or not and it says HAC001 and this of course has the upgraded battery so there you go. So now we are going to uh, put the Joy-Cons in. You know what I forgot? This. Because if you lift it, if I can lift it with my finger, you will see. This is a little tricky. Cause... There we go. There is a micro SD card slot I forgot to show you that I do apologize so there's an SD card slot so it'd be a lot easier for you to store your games if you really need more memory so there you go that's the kickstand to hold it so now it is time for me to do the joy cons all right, so now I'm going to do the Joy-Cons. And this just slides in like so. And now do this one. It slides in like so. You can set it up that way or whatever not. So what does that tell you? So that is pretty cool. Oh, I forgot one more thing. Now, uh... To get the Joy-Cons out of the switch, or even the Joy-Con grip, you have to hold this button. And if you're able to, it should pop right out but with these. Alright folks, now for what's left. Of course this is the HDMI cable. I actually have uh, HDMI cables from my NES Classic Edition and Super Nintendo Classic Edition and whatever not. So I probably won't need this when I hook up my Switch. I got quite a bit of HDMI cables that Nintendo actually released as a result of their Classic Editions. So I won't, I'll won't. probably save that for uh, if I need it later. And of course we got the uh, AC adapter. Of course, this is hook, uh, good for hooking the switch up. We're going to take that out for a minute. <laughs> it is pretty big. It's like a brick. And of course, the, the end on this is a USB-C, as you can see. And then, of course, we got the Joy-Con grip. We can take this out. And this is the Joy-Con grip. 
As you can see right there, that's where you put your Joy-Cons, of course. And it's pretty good if you want to play uh, certain games like the controller, you can do it this way. It doesn't have a, it's not chargeable. If you want a chargeable one, you have to buy one separately. But of course, these go in here like so. Another Joy-Con goes in here like so. Pretty simple. And this works great as a controller. So there you go. So now for the straps. I'm only going to take the strap off because guess what? Here's the big surprise that I didn't know. There's a plus and a minus. Meaning that this is pretty cool. It's not perfect though, but it is pretty cool. Now, this is for the Joy Cons, of course. We're going to take one of these out to demonstrate. Now, I know this you don't have to use this button for. So, since this is the minus part, we're going to try to slide that in. Like so. It's going to be a little tricky because I'm doing it with one hand here. And I do apologize. I'm going to try. If I don't, I will stop the recording now. I'll show you if I got it or not. A little tricky. Okay. I might have gotten it. Oh, there we go. We got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. So here we go. It slides in like so. And of course, you can lock it any time. It has a lock feature right there. You click on it. So it locks it in. And these are used as the, the same buttons. But of course, this has a strap. As you can see, and there's two of them, so you can use them for both Joy Cons. So there you go, which is pretty cool. And you don't need this, you just need to unlock this. It's good to lock it when you're using it, so that way it doesn't come off on you. So when you're done with it, just unlock this and just slide it, slide it out, slide it out like so. Let's see if I can. It with one hand. I probably locked it in the place on accident. I'm gonna try to get it out or not. All right, I just had to uh, <laughs> start it, I should say, to get off. So now the lock button's off. Have no problem with that unless it locks back into place like that should slide it should slide like so off if I can get it or not is it locked back into place I hope not this is hard to get out oh there we go we got I got it I got it now okay so that's the straps <laughs> that took me quite a bit Really sorry about the focus there. It took me quite a bit to get this off, but there you go. All right, so now finally, and of course this is the other strap, just in case you want to use it for both Joy-Cons, you got a spare. So now I can show you the dock. The dock is the last part of this. Here we go. All right, take it out. And bam. Okay, now take this part off. And there we go. There's the dock. All right. This is what the dock looks like. And as you can see closely, you got an H USB-C port. And of course, that will be for your switch. And of course, it has a nice logo, which is pretty cool. And of course, you got the uh, thing for the light, just in case uh, you have this hooked up, I should say. It'll show a light. 
and here's the back. Now, of course, did I show this? No, I didn't show the sides yet. This is the USB ports that you can use for anything, as long as this is hooked up, of course. You can use it for controllers or whatever not. These are two USB ports. And, of course, you got information right there. It says compliance with US. It says part 15 of FCC rules. That's what it was. I just couldn't think of, uh, think of how, uh, what the FCC was. At, I had to read it off here, of course. And of course, you got. This is the other side, of course. And then finally, we got this. Now this pulls apart. And you got your AC adapter, which of course is a USB-C connection. You got another USB port and got your HDMI out, as you can see right there. And of course, this is for charging your Nintendo Switch. And if you have uh, one of those char chargers for your controllers, you can also do that. There'll probably be uh, a USB uh, USB uh, uh, port for that too. I, I I'm not sure. I haven't gotten any of the chargers yet. Maybe I will get in the near future to see what it uses. I assume that it uses a, a USB port for uh, for charging the thing. So. So it makes charging a lot easier. So there you go. That is the dock. That's where you put the switch. Now if you want to play your games on your TV, it's pretty easy. You have to put your Nintendo Switch and put it on the dock. Like so. And of course, push it down. And there you go. It'll be like that. It'll this is the only way you can play your games on your TV. But of course there's alternative options as well. I might try to explain those in the near future. But for when you first play your Nintendo Switch, this is the only way to play your games on your TV. So now it's time for the setup.